stoic, salt of the earth. American artist Grant Wood painted American Gothic in 1930. The artistic style Midwestern Regionalism was pioneered by Wood and others, the name arising from the same named earlier literary movement. A man and his daughter stand in front of a house built in the Carpenter Gothic or Rural Gothic architectural style. Their faces are a mixture of resignation and determination. It is daytime, but the upstairs curtains are drawn. The father is wearing his bib and brace overalls, but with a good shirt on and a dark suit jacket over the top. The daughter is wearing good dark clothes with an apron. His gaze is directed straight at us. Hers is more remote, somewhere off into the middle distance. He is resolved to carry on. Work must be done, and whatever personal tragedy has befallen them, the hay must be pitched, and the thousand other jobs of the farm must be attended to. He is dressed both for a funeral and for work. So is she. She is equally resolved to carry on. Whatever needs to be done, will be done. But carry on from what? The drawn curtains and dark clothes suggest a death in the family. Various interpretations suggest that it is perhaps the man who has died and his daughter is remembering him. But I think the most likely candidate is the man's wife, the daughter's mother, who has died. A further clue to this effect is in the two plants behind her on the porch. These are mother-in-law's tongue and beefsteak begonia, plants which appear in Wood's 1929 portrait, a year earlier, of his mother, woman with plants. A man and his daughter, facing forward, dealing with the necessities of life, little time for rumination, having, in my view, only recently buried the third person in this little household. In fact, the painting is full of threes, the most obvious being the pitchfork tines, that pitchfork itself duplicated in the seams of the man's working clothes, now exposed as his dark coat has been unbuttoned. The three sets of three lines on his shirt, his good shirt with the gold collar fastener, the triangle of the upper floor, and most ominously in the three verticals in that upstairs gothic window, with the dark blinds drawn in mourning. Left to right, then, we have the daughter, the now missing and mourned mother, and the father, the final view that encompasses all three of them, the pitchfork's three tines underlining that it took all three to make this household work. The missing mother's central role is centred between their faces. Without her, it's going to be like a two-pronged pitchfork, harder work, less utility, more grind. Wood's composition is unusual, not really a double portrait so much as an intimate glimpse, fully front on, reaching into the souls of our two protagonists. The father's steely, strongly reflective eyes bore into ours. Hers are softer, the pain a little more visible. In times of sorrow, it's easy to give up, to wonder why you should continue. But that doesn't help anyone and doesn't honour the memory of those now gone. These two will not simply give up, they will continue. The Carpenter Gothic style of architecture was a knockoff, built cheaply to imitate the Gothic windows of European stone-built churches. It was popular in some rural communities who wanted a look of stability, of strong foundations and solid buildings. But the foundational values in this painting don't come from the reworked architectural style. Rather, they arise from these two people. Although Wood named his painting American Gothic, the architectural style is just to lead us to the people, a little decoy that turns into a revelation. For, set in stone far stronger than in any Gothic cathedral, is the stoicism of people like these two. They embody values that, in every time, is in short supply. They face the vicissitudes of life and resolve to continue. They set their face toward the needs of this day, and then tomorrow the needs of that day. They are the salt of the earth. Their resolute determination in the face of adversity is as unchangeable as rock, 
as impressive as any Gothic cathedral. American Gothic. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please press like. If you want to be notified when I put out more reactions to great art, please subscribe. See you next time.